Right, morning everyone. I've just got back from the wild camp with Walsh. There was a couple of comments on Instagram and Facebook and stuff that didn't believe that we'd packed light, well, packed small. So I thought whilst I've just walked in and I'm gonna unpack all my stuff, I've literally just got out of the car, stink, need to go and have a shower, been on mountains for two days. Um, I'll show you uh, the stuff I brought and a little bit of a setup. So here we go, it's just a quick rundown of everything we had. It's a 35 litre rucksack, um, basically on the side pocket here, it's hooked the GoPro on these, um, it's like an ice axe strap there, okay. I've got nothing in this side pocket because the bag's that full, it makes it a little bit redundant in, in all fairness. So I've got a waterproof jacket, uh, sort of down jacket, sorry, strapped to the side. I'm trying to do all this one handed. So strapped to the side of the pack. We've got this down jacket. We'll just loosen these off. It keeps it secure. It's just a way of carrying some extra stuff. We've got really warm. You need that at this time of year when it goes dark. And just an extra layer again, just on the sides. Uh, this pack's quite good because you've got access into the main compartment. Do a bit of a side zip so you don't have to go into the top to get all your stuff back. Just clipped a carabiner on here for the rubbish bag. That's obviously in the bin now, but it's just handy to, to clip your rubbish onto that uh, when you're walking off the mountain. So you, you've got uh, your hands free for any bits of scrambling you may or not be doing. Uh, front pocket, what we got here, we've got the remnants of some Kendall mint cake, just a bit of energy when you're going up. Got some alcoholic, um, alcoholic hand gel. Um, if things get really desperate, you can have a swig of that if you need to and I've also seen someone light a wood gas stove with, with a bit of that. A buff just to keep you warm by camp. Got a little dry bag with spare GoPro batteries. Uh, gloves, spare gloves because it's freezing of a night. A lighter, um, we took some cigars on the last trip. Uh, a hip flask, a little bit of whiskey in there just to keep you warm. A Jerba multi-tool just for opening your cans and you never know what you're going to need that for. It's worth having. And uh, that is it for the front pocket. We'll leave that open just to wear. And uh, let's have a look in the rest of the bag. In fact, we'll start off with the top here. Um, we've got that's just a rain cover that come, comes with it. Um, some painkillers. Bit of a lantern there which is a torch and a lantern when you when you pull it out it's telescopic head torch in this bag just to keep it um a little bit more protected all the, the lens just to keep it free from scratches um, and that is it for the top pocket of the bag into the main compartment we've got couple of little retaining straps here, get them off and uh, it's meant to be one handed which if you've got your gloves on. So we've got a spare pair of socks, they've been used now, um, a Nalgene 2 litre water bottle which is now empty, we've got another Caramore 2 litre water bottle. Uh, I took four litres up with me because I use it for a bit for cooking as well. Yeah, I know I could filter my water and save on weight. Here's my tent. The Van Gogh Helium 100 Super Light. Absolutely tiny. Um, but that's all you need. An Alkit 400ml titanium mug. And inside that is an MSR Micro Rocket Stove. Have a hat. Which is protecting a mini bottle of wine which was left over from last night. First aid kit. Got a Thermarest NeoAir X Lite sleep mat. A can of Rockstar Lager, which is left over from last night. Always a bonus when that happens. Little pasta sauce, again left over from last night. A liner for my sleeping bag. MSR Titan kettle. Inside there, we've got gas bottle, striker, um, little sponge just for cleaning your pan. 
keeping it all together. And we've got some instant coffee, coffee sachets. In there. We've got a sit mat. Inside the sit mat, I've folded up an aluminium windshield. And also you can see there's a titanium spork just sticking out there. I've just got the prongs of the spork protected in there just to save it damaging any of my kit or the lining of the rucksack. We have a pillow. Again, I know I could sleep on my jacket or um, get some air into one of my dry bags and save even more weight. There's that. And finally, last but not least, is a dry bag just containing my sleeping bag. It's a cheap sleeping bag. It's not lightweight. It's not down. Just about get away with it this time of the year with the liner inside. It costs about £10 from a local Asda and it's small-ish. And that, my friends, is absolutely everything uh, in the bag. 35 litre rucksack. So Brimacom, it was true. Um, everything you see here has been contained within that 35 litre pack. A little bit of an eye opener to me to be fair because I normally take an excessive Osprey 65 litre pack. I know it's overkill, I know it's meant for multi-day hikes and backpacking around Europe and wherever. But I like to do that. However, I found it pleasantly surprising, um, the extra mobility of having a smaller pack. Um, the tent situation, yeah, it's a good tent, but I don't like, I can't sit up in it. I don't like that. It was all based on the weather. I knew very well we could have good weather and no, no rain. Had it been chucking it down, I'd, I'd have took the bigger pack, without a doubt and took my bigger tent because it's no fun being in one of those coffin type tents. You can't sit up, it's very hard to cook in and it's absolutely lashing down. It's nice to have a bit of extra room. So that's it for this very, very short addendum video to the, the two days wild camping. Again, hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Give us uh, any constructive feedback in the comments below and I will reply to every single one. Follow us on Facebook, find our group, like our official page. Find us on Twitter and Instagram and it would mean a lot if you hit the subscribe button and we will see you on the next adventure. We've got a lot planned in autumn and winter coming up. Nothing stops us going out no matter what the weather is. We will be out making videos, hopefully to provide a bit of light-hearted entertainment. See you on the next adventure.